Welcome everyone to today's show. We've got a glamour shot going before the show starts just to show you because today's show is about the Pearl Mini and we're actually integrating the Pearl Mini itself into today's show. So let's go live with me now and let's start this show. All right. Today's show is all about the Pearl Mini and what I'm calling the Mighty Pearl Mini. Able to leap tall, build, no, able to stream, record, switch, and play back with ease. And this is a really cool product that it's it's more than a Swiss Army knife. It fits so many different needs. And the most important thing about the Pearl Mini that sets it apart from all the other products is how easy to use it is. In fact, it's so easy to use that I'm going to use it as part of our show later on. But for now, let's go to the uh, Pearl Mini and let's start the show. All right. And it's an all-in-one live production solution. It's $34.95. We got the big easy button because it's super easy to use. Like I said, you can record, you can stream, you can switch, and you can play back up to two HD inputs simultaneously. Now, they're HDMI inputs, so let's go a little bit into the features of the box itself. All right, we've got that little screen over there, and I'm also going to pick this up. If we, You want to put the camera down there on it? I think, Oliver, you got to move the camera. All right. You've got two video inputs, HDMI or SDI. You've got a, uh, let's switch back to this one. Okay, cool. <laughs> a little, 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 okay, we're, good. we're back. Here's the unit. I'm going to pick it up and show it to you. So you can see all the inputs and outputs that you have. So you've got HDMI inputs. You've got two HDMI inputs, one HDMI output. You've also got balanced audio. Those are those XLRs you see over there, which is really cool. You've also got consumer le uh, line level inputs on the back. We'll put that back down. Cool. All right. As far as specification, it'll capture up to 1920 by 1080. You can stream to individuals or to your choice of CDN. It uses RS-232 through a USB adapter for protocols to control it. You can code into H.264. You supported audio codecs or MP3, AAC, and PCM. The Pearl Mini can be used to monitor and control. It's, it takes removable storage cards, one touch control from the surface of the Mini itself. It's got a headphone jack and that seven inch touch screen. In fact, I want to twist this over to this camera again if we can. So people can see the size of that touch screen. Now, if we cut back to the full shot, I've actually got a whole Mini setup rig over here. Can we, can we go to that overhead camera to show people? Now, this is a functioning mini that we're going to get into a little bit later in the show, but I wanted you to see how that lights up. So, very cool with that one. Now, uh, the folks over at PTZ Optics, who supplied some PTZ cameras for us for the demonstration we're going to do later, they're sitting right here, did a little video that's actually a great video that's a review of the Pearl Mini and how to operate it with the PTC Optics camera for integration. So we're going to roll a little clip out of that. And remember, folks, the full video is available on our website, the PTC Optics, and the Epifan websites, and our YouTube pages. So let's watch that little clip now. So let's get started setting up this unit to discover some of the possibilities of connecting a PTZ Optics camera via USB, SDI, HDMI, or RTSP streaming to get our video feeds into the Pearl Mini. For most lecture capture scenarios, we want to capture one camera and one presentation feed. For our camera input, we have multiple options. You will notice that the PTZ Optics SDI cameras feature both HDMI and SDI video outputs. We can then use our second HDMI input for our PowerPoint presentation. The Pearl Mini will now be able to see your computer's output and the camera feed from the PTZ Optics camera. It's worth noting that you can also use the USB 3.0 inputs for cameras. Another interesting way to add live video into the Pearl Mini leverages an IP protocol called RTSP. RTSP stands for Real-Time Streaming Protocol, and you can easily add live RTSP video inputs into the Pearl Mini using the configuration page. By default, your Epifan Pearl Mini is set up as a DHCP device on your local area network. Assuming that your PTZ Optics camera is already set up on your local area network, you can simply enter your camera's RTSP information into the Pearl's RTSP input areas. Okay, so let, let's get this full screen just on the, the, the Z-Cam shot, guys. So the Z-Cam shot is an overhead Z-Cam from PTZ Optics coming straight down on the Pearl that you see here with my hands. And we have two PTZ cameras. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to bring up uh, in the corner of the screen what I'm working on. So I'm going to show you camera two. We'll put that up there. 
And now we're going to go put the uh, picture in picture get going. It's okay, guys. It's a live demo. Okay, so here's what we have. And this is the glamour shot that I've got going of the unit itself. Here's my hand right here. So now I'm going to say, hey, I want to cut to the other camera. So I'm going to pull the other camera up into the preview window, hit the button. And now we're going to go live to that camera, which is the guys back there. I've got some picture in picture set up that I can switch into as well, which are very cool. And then I've got a picture in picture that I set up that's in a, that I actually set up in a different quadrant. And we've threw some text up there. So the Epifan Mini Test. So I'm just showing you how easy this is to do because let's get back to me on the full screen now. If you're a teacher, a professor, someone in a church doing an X game, whatever you're producing, then you have two cameras or two inputs, you can see how easy this device is to use. I can record the show in all its full resolution glory to memory cards. I can also stream it to the CDN of my choice. It's really a pretty tremendous product and to make it even better because that's what we do a video guys we take something that's good and we make it better we've got a bundle for you this bundle gives you the epifan pearl mini a carrying case a ptc optics 12x camera and a pro grade 64 gigabyte card now that would be normally 54.92 we're going to save you almost 500 dollars on that bundle folks and let me talk about this bundle a little bit and why i think it's so great Remember, the, the Pearl Mini will take two inputs, so we're giving you one that's the PTZ camera. You can use any other camera you have with an HDI input, HDMI output to be the second camera, or you can take the HDI, HDMI output of your laptop and bring it into the Pearl Mini. But what makes this bundle so great is for getting started in a situation where you want users who are beginner users or the talent's going to be using the product, it's really fantastic, the versatility of the Pearl Mini. Like I said, maybe you just want to record a show. Pearl Mini can do it. Maybe you just want to stream. Pearl Mini can do it. Maybe you just want to mix. Pearl Mini can do it. And it can do any combination of all of the above. So it's really a tremendously versatile product. And with this bundle, you've got everything you need to get started. If you want a second camera or a second input, add your own. It could be your HDMI camera or your laptop. So I want to thank the guys because it's not always easy to set up a demo. We are actually running a system right now with, let's count the cameras. We got the camera in front of me. We got this camera over here. We got the Z camera upstairs that's shooting down on this. Then we got these two PTZ cameras. We're actually doing a five camera shoot. So that's the most complicated shoot we've ever done in the history of uh, the video guys uh, Newsday Tuesday. So compliments to the team for getting that set up. It wasn't, it's not as straightforward as you think because we're running NDI and we're running a whole NDI network. We had to make some experiments to get stuff working. But the beauty of it is, is you can integrate a Pearl Mini into a bigger system and a bigger solution. So you could have multiple classrooms with Pearl Minis in them feeding into TriCasters via SDI runs or NDI runs and then switch those out to go out to the world outside for streaming or to mix between them. So just want to point out what a versatile product it is. Now we're going to talk about some of the applications that we call the verticals, the workflows of where this product really fits so well. And this is what really I love about the Pearl Mini. It fits in so many great spots. Worship, lecture capture, live events, corporate video, and some other stuff I'm going to talk about that's not even on the slide. So let's go into the slideshow now and talk about worship streaming. One touch operation. You saw me do it, how easy it was. Custom layout builder for branded streams with uh, additional uh, graphics. Uh, confidence monitoring of your video and audio. XLR inputs, which is so good with Phantom Power, and it's perfect for worship streaming because it can be used by volunteers. Now, we showed you something very basic. The operation of the unit is always basic. You can get pretty complicated and get a show that's pretty sophisticated with different layouts, with different graphics and things like that that your talent can choose between when they're running the show. But the, it's set up, a little bit of work up front, can produce a spectacular show that even a volunteer can run. And we think that's so important in worship, especially if you're a smaller church and you're really not looking to get the iMac going. You don't have screens all over the church. You just want to have basically maybe one far camera and a close-up camera that perhaps is on the preacher. And you just want to be able to stream it out to those of, in, your, in your congregation who can't make it. Perfect solution for getting started with streaming. Simplified lecture capture. This is really, lecture capture is big, folks. If you're a teacher, you're doing lecture capture for distance learning, or you might be doing it because that's how you're flipping your classroom well. The more 
engaging your video is, the better it's going to be for your audience or your students to watch. So maybe you're flipping between yourself on the camera and you're on a PTZ camera that you can zoom in or zoom out on and you have your PowerPoint. Or maybe you're in a lab situation where you have one camera that's looking at all the lab gear and then there's a camera that's a focus on you. Or maybe you're doing something interactive in the classroom that you then want to be able, the lecture to bring home to kids who are watching distance learning. So maybe there's one camera that's a PTZ camera mounted on you as the professor that's kind of different presets where you are, a Zoom where you move to one table, one lecture, and then the other could be for a roving camera where someone's actually, you know, shooting the, the, the students, because maybe the students are participating in the lecture, so you can bring up the student when he wants to ask this question and go back. It all works so well, and it's so easy, because the Pearl Mini is a mighty production device in a small package. Let's go to another vertical, lecture capture. Oh, guys, this is even bigger. If you're running a facility for your school, a high school system or a college university system, then you're probably f familiar with the Kaltura and Panopto products. These are products that give you the ability to not just record and play your video, but to, to manage your videos and to, to deliver them to your students. And the folks at Epifan have worked super hard with both these companies, but what they have going on with Panopto is really, really special. They are really integrating so tightly, whereas I think if you're a Panopto house, if you're a school system or a corporate, a corporate user who's got Panopto and you're not getting a Pearl Mini to check out, you're doing a disservice to yourself, to your audience, your, student, your students, because the Pearl integration is so smooth and so silky and it just makes so much sense. You can record it locally, you can record it through Panopto to the central servers, you can mix it, you can share it, you can stream it, it's just wonderful. And in fact, we got a little video going that we're gonna play now over my shoulder while I talk a little bit more about why the Panopto and Kaltura is, is so important for you to look at if you are a uh, school or an organization. The pearls really integrate beautifully with it. And one of the things that I really love about the pearl, like I said, is how easy it is to use for the teacher, the professor in the front of the room. Panopto and Kaltura, this secret sauce that's running in the background through your IT department, that's really managing all this video for the entire facility. So you could decide through these products whether you want to have it be shared where people can stream it or whether the students can download it, when they can watch it, where it's delivered, uh, how they can get to it. It's, it's really very cool. And if you're, if you're running video, AV video, in a lecture facility school system, you want to look into these two products, Panopto and Kaltura. And if you have Panopto and Kaltura, then you absolutely want to get your hands on a Pearl Mini. I can't stress enough how this box will work wonders in that solution and it will integrate so tightly and so smoothly. And at $34.95, it's just, it's a no brainer for you if you're a school. All right, let's advance the uh, PowerPoint a little bit. Now we're gonna go to a live event workhorse. Well, a lot of times we wanna present our live events. Now a live event could be anything. A live event could be uh, someone who's opening a new business. A live event could be someone who's doing an auction or something online to sell products. A live event could be a boardroom in a government or a school system, or a live event could be even a bar that was running a, uh, you, you know, had some bands playing. Well, the beauty of the Pearl Mini is, is if I'm in a volunteer situation, any volunteer can operate. So let's say I'm gonna do a, a boardroom meeting, a board meeting with my uh, school district, and I have five board members. Well, I can have it set up where I have a wide shot, of the entire board, and I can have another PTZ camera with five presets so I can follow whoever's talking. And now with the Pearl alone, I can actually operate my whole show as a student volunteer. I can go, I'm, I'm broad, I'm, I'm the broad shot, I'm the focus shot. I can go back and forth for that live event. If it's in a bar situation, I can have one camera on the band, maybe another one's close up on the lead singer or over to the side. I can cut back and forth because I have the XLR input, I'm gonna get great quality sound. I can plug directly into or out of a soundboard. It's just really great for live events. And once again, a lot of people are doing live events with a cell phone, you know, that they've got their smartphone, they're going right up and they're shooting that live event. Well, that's what I call the absolute beginner worst way to do live video streaming. The next step is you take a camera and you mount it to something like a Webcaster X2, a phenomenal product that'll let you take your camcorder's HDMI out and now broadcast it directly to your favorite CDN. With the Pearl Mini, now you can get some real production quality. You can have two cameras to mix between or cameras and graphics. Maybe it's lyrics for your church. Maybe it's a, a PowerPoint if you're uh, doing a lecture about investing or something, you know. It's just the real great way to go. And live events, 
they're, they're everywhere in the world of, of video streaming. So the Pearl Mini, a great way to get started with that as well. All right, before I get into corporate video, I'm going to take a little swig of my drink. Just water, folks. Corporate video. A lot of people are using corporate video for internal communications, and this is what's real important. We've all got the, we've all seen these big, cool AV rooms all hooked up with all this complicated teleconferencing gear, and that's great. But a lot of times you just want the president of the company to give a message to everyone, and you can stream directly to the corporate internet or on a locked out page or through YouTube or Facebook to the whole corporate. But now you can get your message to your team. Maybe your marketing department's gonna roll out a new product. Now you can do that new product rollout. You can have one video camera that's on the product, kind of like when we had the Pearl focused on here and another on the talent. When you can mix between two cameras, the show looks more professional, it's more engaging, more people watch it, more people pay attention. Other uses of corporate video that we found people are using this for is training a lot of times. Let's say you want to do training on an assembly process of where you are. You can have video that's on a worker who's doing the assembly, as well as a wider camera on the whole assembly line. And you can actually now do training videos that are a little more interactive. Or maybe the training video is how to use an online tool like a web service. Or maybe you're trying to teach your people how to use Photoshop from Adobe or video editing or Excel, whatever it is. You can have the out, HDMI output of your, cam, of your laptop be one of the videos. And then the camera talking to the uh, talent can be the other one, and the professor or the teacher can mix it as he sees fit. So he can have a picture that's the two side by side, just a close up of the uh, content from the computer screen, or a PIP like we showed of mixing of multiple takes. So just really great for corporate video as well. And once again, if you're a corporate video department, you wanna get started in small steps. And this is a great first step at $34.95 for the Pearl or $49.95 for that kit we talked about, that bundle, Great for the corporate video department that wants to get started. The other thing that happens, and once again, this is another set of kudos for the folks over at Epifan. They've been working with the folks at Crestron. If you're in the AV space, or you've got a big AV space you put together, then you know that you use Crestron. That's the head-end software that's kind of running all the AV equipment, letting it talk to each other, deciding what mics are on, what's off, what's going where, what phone lines are coming in. And through Crestron Control, you can now actually tap in to the pearls. Once again, the folks at Epifan, Epifan putting that extra engineering in so that for the corporate world, you can now put a Pearl Mini or a full-fledged Pearl right into the solution, and it's just going to work great because it talks directly to Crestron, and Crestron talks directly to it. All right, storage options. Actually, before we get to storage options, and we're going to leave the, this screen up a little bit because it's okay, but I want to talk about something that just happened this past week, and that was... I think eSports just reached a major milestone. I've been talking about eSports on the show for a couple of years now, and we've all seen him. He's been on Fallon and The Late Show and on your local news. A 16-year-old kid playing Fortnite professional made $13 million for winning it. That's right, $13 million. You're now all learning what I've been telling you for years, and that is, is kids are getting full scholarships to colleges, engineering schools, based on their ability to play video games. The video games are being watched by larger audiences now than the Super Bowl, the All-Star Game, the World Series, the NBA Finals. It's really taking off. These, their players are making millions of dollars a year, definitely tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands, but you got to start somewhere. So maybe your high school wants to get started with an eSports team. Pearl Mini is a great way to get that started. You can have one video be the source of the, 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 uh, the game, and another one could be a camera that's on the kid's playing or if it's two cameras playing each other head to head you have one camera on one one on the other and then bring them in and switch back and forth so it's very cool the esports aspect of it if, or if you're getting started on esports do something locally the pearl and the pearl mini are a great way to look once again because it's so easy to operate that a volunteer can operate it you don't need a professional trained video switching engineer it's really that simple as i tell you storage options let's get back let's put the slide up full speed full size we recommend the minimum size of 64 gigabytes, minimum class 10, automatic file upload. We've got some suggested cards there, Sandex Extreme, Extreme Pro, ProGrade Digital, SDX2, US2, and the, and the uh, ProGrade Digital V90 and V60s. When you're doing video, folks, you can't put a cheap video card in there. So we want you to think about when you're recording to a Pearl Mini thing about if I had a really good HD camera or a 4K camera, what card would I put inside that camera? You wanna put that same quality card 
inside the Pearl Mini for the recording. It's just common sense. Yeah, you may pay 30 to $50 more for the better card, but that throughput, that speed is going to make sure that you capture everything you want to capture and you don't drop any frames and your audio sync is perfect. Live event production, one of the things we need to talk about is, is that we can go to anything to stream from the Pearl Mini. Now you set it up with a few clicks when you go in advance, but to start streaming and start recording is as simple as your talent hits a single button and gets it going. But you know, you got Facebook Live, you got YouTube Live, you got Vimeo, you got Ustream Twitch, Wowza, Akamai, plus you can also do any custom RTMP stream you want. So it's really a versatile product. It's so powerful. The switching is easy as anything. It records, it plays back, it encodes, and it streams. What more can you ask for a self-contained appliance? It's really a smart little product. And with that touchscreen that we showed you before, I'm going to show you again. Let's cut to that sexy picture, the Z-Cam. And there you go. Here it is. Easy peasy to go. And I'm just going to, we've got this up here, and I'm just going to switch cameras now. You don't have to put in the picture picture, guys. I just want to show how easy it is to, to switch the cameras. And now we switch the camera. And now I'm going to go back to the picture of the boys. And now the boys are my final output. And now I'm going to go back to the glamour shot of the spinning uh, Pearl, t Pearl Mini. And there we go. It's just that simple and that easy, folks, that even a guy like me, a teacher, a professor, a volunteer, anyone can use it. I'm not trying to put teachers down, but your job as a teacher or professor is to teach the course. It's not to be an AV expert. So that's why I'm saying it's so simple. And in a corporate boardroom, the president of the company, the head of marketing, the head of training, someone can easily operate it. You don't have to take a lot of time and effort. You set it up properly and it's as easy as just tapping a screen. There is two products in the Pearl family. Actually, there's more. So I want to bring the screen up full, full screen because Pearl does have a big brother, the Pearl 2, where the Mini is actually the light version. The Pearl 2 is the big kahuna. It's more expensive. It's $63.75, but it's got a 4K resolution option. It's going to give you four HDMI inputs, two SDI inputs, and two USB. It's going to give you audio inputs, XLR and RCA. It's going to give you encoding up to six streams at 1080p, plus one at four, or one at 4K if you're going 4K. RTSP inputs, chroma key, yes. And the storage can be, it also has a 512 gigabyte internal SSD. So it's the big brother. It's a little bit more complicated to set up and use. This touchscreen is actually smaller, but it's still the same concept. And it's just, if you're looking for more, if you love the Pearl Mini, but you say, hey, Gar, hey, video guys, I need three or four inputs, the Pearl 2 is the way to go. All right, the next thing I want to talk about, and I'm not going to run this live just because we did enough live stuff, but the Pearl Mini and the Pearl 2 could be controlled from an Android or an iOS device running their software on their web UI. Basically, you run just running a web interface, and it's super easy to do. It's a dashboard with the easy point, point, click, click, you know, change which camera you're going to go run to. And I think it's really cool. They call it Epifan Live. It's simple, intuitive, mobile friendly, super easy to use. You can control it, it works great, and it's a lot of fun, and that can take your productions. The easy button just got easier when you're using the Epifan Live control interface. All right, that brings us to the end of today's show, a pretty quick show, when we got some good demos and want to talk about what's coming up in the future. The folks at Live, you're finally going to give us that bundle announcement that we've been waiting on for a couple of months. It got held up for some technical reasons. We're really excited about that. We're going to do a spotlight on the C Rescue Manager, the C hard drives come with Rescue Manager. So if you should happen to get your data corrupted or your drive smashed or something bad happens to it, you can get it recovered one time per drive. But let's face it, that's all you need. And then we're going to talk about a new, shh, it's a secret. It's a new Wirecast product. Can't go into any more details. One of be my favorite pieces of gear coming out pretty soon. Real excited about it. That concludes today's show on the Video Guys Newsday Tuesday, The Mighty Pearl. I'm going to pick this up again, show it off. Let's go to this camera over here because I think the two of us just make such a great combination, me and the Pearl Mini. It's such a great device, so easy to use. It's lightweight, the screen, the I.O. we went into before. You can see it's just a great product. At $34.95, this is a great way for you to get started in multi-camera streaming, encoding, and recording, and playback. So. I hope you learned a little about our show, how easy this product is to use, how much, how versatile it is. Stream, record, switch, and playback with ease. It really is that easy, folks. For $34.95, you can't go wrong with the Pearl Mini. And if you need more inputs or more outputs and more power, you can step up to the full Pearl 2. 
This is Gary from Video Guys. I thank you for watching the show today. Once again, the usual plugs. Like us and love us on Facebook. Share our posts. Share our blog posts with your friends. Watch our YouTube videos. Like our YouTube videos. Give us comments on Facebook. Give us comments on YouTube. Let us know what you want to see next. I hope you learn a lot about this video. I hope you learned a lot about the products we sell, the Epifan Pearl Mini. This is Gary from VideoGuys.com. We'll see you next Tuesday at 2 p.m. Peace. Video Guys is available Monday through Friday. Give us a call at 1-800-323-2325. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram to stay connected with all of our updates. And you can like us on Facebook. Keep an eye out for our live videos, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.